What's good, YouTube? This your man, Spill Dog. Yo, man, uh, they say that they say, uh, we're gonna get that fight with Spence and Ugas. Uh, I think, I think it's supposed to be sometime this summer, man. Uh, now, Ugas is a nice fighter, but, uh, I think, I think the things that make him, that, that get, the things that he used that get these other guys problems, his, his size and his strength. It's going to be really work against him when he fights Spence, man. Uh, he a big target. You know, uh, he got good defense, but he kind of a straight up and down fighter to some degree. You know, uh, he he's a he's solid, completely solid, but he not real fast. He don't like he got that real just knockout power. And I just think this is going to be a, a, a fight where Spence may end up probably going to knock this dude out, man, because I just got a funny feeling. Spence gonna start early on on that body with with, with Ugas, and by the eighth or ninth round, he gonna be to soften him up so good he gonna be ready. To get, he gonna be ready to go. I just don't. I just think. I just think like they say, styles make fights, and Ugas styles seem like it's just tailor made to me for Spence. I I see Spence having a field day in there with Ugas. I mean, I see him really beating the hell out that dude, man. Uh, I, like I say, Ugas a good fighter, but I think. What make him the advantages that he have against most fighters, his size and uh his reach, and and his you know his just kind of his tactical skill is gonna all play against him uh, with Spence because they're about the same size. S Spence got better skills. I think he's a little fast. I just think he's a little bit better than Ugas all the way around, and I think he's gonna dominate. I actually do. I think, I think it'd be a fight where uh, Spence will really just truly dominate that fight. I really see it. Now I see it being competitive, probably every round, but I still see Spence winning probably decisively, pretty much every round. Too, you know. Uh, I just think that Ugas is gonna be in there fighting and gonna be solid, but I think he gonna get the shit beat out of him. To be honest with you, uh, I'm a, I'm more looking forward to that fight. Then Crawford and Pacquiao, because, I mean, you know, Pacquiao definitely got a chance against anybody. But if we want to be real, he, uh, Crawford need his ass whooped if he lose this fight to Manny with the advantages that he got. Not not taking nothing against, uh, against taking nothing away from Manny, but Manny, 42 years old, small as he is, with all the advantages that Crawford got. And, and him being in his prime, I just don't see it. Now, I think I think the only way Pacquiao can win is by knockout, and that's definitely possible because I've seen Terrence shook a couple of times. But outside of that, I don't see Terrence Crawford losing that fight. So hopefully, after Crawford and Pacquiao and Ugas suspense, it shouldn't be no reason for them two not to fight after after uh sometime late. Late, late this year or early next year. Uh, but yeah, but that's it for me on this video. If you like the video, hit the like or subscribe. Till next time, it's your boy Spill Dog. I'm out.